Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your very late night of, well not night, it's your, it's your late, out of date, for Smackdown, AEW Rampage, review. Oh man, I, I fell asleep during the Rampage show. I mean, I knew there was already results. Like, why did I bother? I just was like, just wanted to see like how bad this shit would be, honestly. Or just, I was also preoccupied with other things that I was doing. And then when I was like watching, like, fuck, this shit was boring. And, like, this is just a nerdy show, like, stupid. And like, this is a show that's taped, and last week was not. Like, I don't get it. And I don't know. I just think the pay, like, what, how this, sh how they pace the shows, and also just. In general, it's just fucking shit. But it's SmackDown. It was boring for most part too. Like, but oh, oh, guys, guys, uh, we're, we're, uh, they returned and what? And I just like, who gives a fuck? I don't know. We're, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about like. So I guess I don't know. Everybody, everybody's returning or. Triple H is bringing back people who no one really gives a fuck about besides Marks or whatever. I don't know. We'll talk about it. Anyways, grab your Coca-Colas, drink your magnesium, find me some bitches, go, oh shit, oh shit. And let's talk about these shows. I can just tell you Rampage was just a waste of time watching it. Made me, like, I was already bored with SmackDown. That, that main event with SmackDown. People are going to pretend that match was so good. The main event, blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Guess what? It wouldn't make bitches go on a big black couch and you'd make them go, oh, shit, oh, shit. Okay? And I'm not, I have no problem, you know, making the icy town important. I do think it should. But you can't make it important after it's been just do shit lots of times. And also with shit, with people who no one really gives a fuck about. Or really no. With Gunter, they're trying to establish something. But it should have been booked better where maybe you should have done some vignettes before bringing him up to the main roster. They're like, it's him. It's your typical, is this guy from NXT and whatever. You know what I mean there? You got you to actually put more effort in terms of that. And just, oh, you got to pretend, you got to like this guy now or, you know, pretend to know him because we brought him to the show or whatever. You can't do that. What, whatever it is, what it is. Um, but the, the fact that also like oh like like not we're gonna we have to be intrigued like oh Nakamura is fucking to me like why 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 what should we care get out of here. I mean it's totally different to me and plus the thing is the end is showing just like this is how the end show it's just a plain match, you know that we could have seen here today could have opened the show with could even put it in the middle of the card. No, it's just the show that we end we end with. Oh, nobody either, like, returned to challenge Walter, not even, like, a, a guy who's, like, credible, someone cool. Nobody. No, it's just fucking you, like, just, oh, whatever. We'll, we'll talk about the show, okay? We'll talk about it. So, show started with diva shit, or, or just fucking disgusting she hulky women's bullshit. Um, what was the match? I don't even remember, like. All I know is that they're trying to make the fucking stupid, um, they're trying to, you know, oh, we have to pretend to care about this fucking women's title fucking bullshit. Like, women's ta like no one cares about women's tag, and no one cares about women's wrestling, and you man, you mentioned even make it boring. And wow, we're going to actually fucking have women tag team titles again. And it's like, it should have been dead. Should have been uh, gone to its obscurity, just like how they did with the women's title initially with Alundra Blaze. But whatever. Don't fucking say that Vince Russo is evil. The guy fucking brought back the women's title, which there was a purpose why they brought back the women's title. Sable is one of the freaking hottest fucking people in like what I mean by hot, not just like she was fucking beautiful. It just in terms of popularity, freaking she was like one of the biggest draws in wrestling. And then they gave her the women's title for her to have. That way it brought prestige for that title. What does that tell you? You know what I mean? And it made it important. So don't hate on Vince Russo for that. Anyways. I know I'm like fucking brazing this guy. But it's like, it's the truth. Like, I, I feel bad for like, this guy gets so much hate. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. 
Anyway, so yeah, the fucking show started with fucking women's ti title tournament. No one fucking cares. Raquel Rodriguez and former YWC member Aaliyah defeat Shits Blackheart and Ixia Lee. No one cares. The winners are going to face Sonya Dykeville and Natty Nightfart. And or they're going to also face Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. I think there was like a fuck of video promo package after this. Like they were showing cold casing Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. I'm sorry. Listen, when I like Nikita Lyons, I get why people. I I, I get why some of people like her, but I'm sorry. Like she kind of is like chubby, and I can see the, the literally the only people who like kind of like think, oh my god, yo, she hot as fuck, man. Are, are fucking black people, like seriously, are fucking, you know, Af uh, Afro people, you know? They're the ones that are like, cause you know, yo, she thick, man, she thicker than a bowl of oatmeal or whatever, like, yo, man, yo, she big, man, she, like, that, that's why. They, they think this chick is like, oh my god, yo, man, she high as hell or whatever. I mean, hey, I mean, she's not fat like Nia Jax, don't get me wrong, but she kinda is kinda like, she'll be fat there. I, I hate to say it there. Too much of a good thing, I would say. It's, like, too big. You know what I mean there? But, like, apparently... Uh, and, again, I don't know. It's, like, kind of seemed like it. I'm not trying to, like, you know, hate on my fucking, you know, black, black people at... You know, I'm, I'm not hating on them. You know? What's up, y'all? But for real, like, it's like I see. Like, those are the people that are probably are angry that I don't like the key to lying. Like, Yo, how, what you talking about, man? She high as fuck. What you problem, man? Like, nah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just, like... Chicks were probably more, you know, just, I don't know, take care of herself. I don't know, she kind of is... Oh, she, but she, she could probably be... Uh, she does uh, the jiu-jitsu or whatever. Okay, you could be jiu-jitsu do jiu and all these fucking, you know, box, kickboxing shit. And you could be fat still. You know, you probably just don't put enough effort in the gym. You know, she kind of got to lean out. You know what I mean? There, just got to be proof. Uh, Anyways, so that happened, but yeah, she's teaming with fucking Zoe Starks. Like, okay, why are you bringing up these NXT women that no one fucking knows? At least they fucking do a video package to make us fucking know at least. But seriously, you're already having them in the new women's tag title tournament? Like, who fucking cares? But not just that, like, seriously. Zoe Starks is in this shit. Get the fuck out. Anyways, Karrion Cross and Scarlet are backstage. Cross, uh, cuts a promo. By the way, good promo. Even though it's like, it's your typical, you know, um, I'm dark, I watched the darkness my entire life. You know, the dark, mysterious dark gimmick is your typical, but I think Cross, he can do it. And I like how he cut the promo. He basically said, you know, you know, Drew and Roman, you know, they're the chosen ones. Unlike me or whatever, you know, which is like kind of referencing how he got like released or whatever. He said like chaos happened and a rebirth and a darkened soul took place. Claim Roman and Roman and Drew are the chosen ones, while he and Scarlet are the forgotten ones. And they waited for a perfect time to strike, and last week they struck. Uh, and then he says, "Everyone, uh, everyone knows. Uh, okay, but they uh, cast out of paradise. Yeah, everyone knows about the bloodline. Now they will show them a new timeline because in the end, everybody pays the toll. Tick tock." I, I, I like I like I like the I like the promo. I will say this like this this like how they portrayed Karen Cross in the show was good. I liked it. You know what I mean? I like what they what they did. I think that this guy, even though he's not like I think like this, I do think the guy is kind of like he's getting overrated to the sense like oh this guy is like so fucking awesome. He's not aw like such a like very great. I mean, compared to this, all these guys, he is. That's the thing. But you know what? Like, I there's promise with these guys. There's promise with Carrying Cross. There's promise with him. There's promise with Scarlet, who I wish she was also just not just you know a valet, but also the smoke show Scarlet. But she's doing great with the role, especially what she did later in the, in the, in the show, which I will talk about. So I love it. I love what they're doing with this guy. I love these people. They're great. They have they they, they get it. They get it. Drew McIntyre is shown backstage uh, as Cross looks at him behind. Drew McIntyre in the ring and he's like exciting. He's like excited, dude. Like and I just don't get, it. dude. You got fucking beat up last week. Why are you so excited? Like I don't get. And this is why I guys like me don't give a shit. This is why I from the start I don't I did not buy into the idea. 
that that McIntyre was facing Lesnar. Like this is he, now he's a goof. Like they, they they're not booking him right. And I I understand it's not his fault. It's not they're not it's not his fault. But like still even with this whole Triple H regime, he still is the same shit. He still is the same shit. I thought fucking where's the logic? Where is it? Like where is it? He's still the same shit. Whatever though. Like uh he's. It's an excitement time at WWE, like a lot of new faces showing up there, like, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of people to, like, to talk about other things, and he will do, uh, like I will do, like, when, when Cross gets to me. What bit about opportunity to attack the number one contender, like, yeah, stand on the champion. You know, Cross, you got three chances, knocked out, hospital, or graveyard. I'm sorry, it's goofy as fuck, that's fucking goofy. This is why, honestly, as much as I'm thinking, you know, fuck it. You want to have fucking, if it means that, you know, that if apparently Reigns is not going to be on TV, and you and you know what, if you need fucking a guy to beat, defeat Roman, fuck it. You might as well do McIntyre winning. But honestly, now, no. Don't have McIntyre beat fucking Reigns. It wouldn't fucking completely be the worst thing in the world, but I'm sorry. I mean, you know what? Nah. Don't do it. Nah. You don't need to. It's terrible. I would honestly rather have Karrion Cross. Uh, there's only a few people. Who should do it? You don't need to do Lesnar anymore. Obviously, Lesnar, that's done. Okay, that's done. The only people left. If you want to establish a new guy, obviously, you got to book him good. Karrion Cross, or, but he's like the only guy that's new. Or, or actually, no, there are actually just a few people that could be, but yeah, the break, they're, they're still fucking, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, being developed. Karrion Cross, Braun Breaker, maybe, or, even Gable Stevenson. Why I say that? Because Gable Stevenson, he already has that fucking lineage towards him. You could make him like, well, you could do, obviously, make him like the next Kurt Angle or Brock Lesnar. You already have, there's already a story behind the guy that he fucking, you know, Olympic gold medal, but not just that. Like, why not bring up that, you know, and I don't know why you're not even training this guy anymore. Why isn't this guy even being trained? Like, what, where is, like, you know, why, why isn't he, like, freaking wrestling Chad, why didn't he fucking squash Chad Gable, already had, like, a match with him, maybe doing some big things, essentially making, like, a Kurt Angle, developing him, not, like, obviously ripping off Kurt Angle, but just something, like, kind of that run, and even Brock Lesnar, it's not also establishing, maybe he could be the guy, what you could do, if you were to bring up Gable Stevenson, you have fucking Brock Lesnar on his side, after all, if, like, behind the scenes, Brock Lesnar helped this guy, what you could do, like he's on his corner, make sure the bloodline doesn't get involved, he has his back. That way it makes sense and helps fucking establish just him. It helps establish Gable Stevenson to be the future. And he beats Roman Reigns already like that. That could be a story that if I was even fucking making this fucking show. That already is a better logic, you know. Obviously you gotta build a guy up and, you know, shit like that. Even, you know, but there, he's not even wrestling. I don't even know what the fuck the guy is doing. Whatever, but I mean, Gable Stevens is a cool guy, though. I know, like, and I know he's a good, like, he's a good wrestler. You know, I respect that because, again, fellow wrestler love, you know, not fucking pro wrestling, look, fucking, fucking actual wrestling, for God's sake. What I'm saying, but only those guys, if you want to establish a new star, or I'm sorry, you have to, I hate to say, it, you need to actually have fucking people who people know to defeat Roman, like. He either has to be fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin. He already fucking came out of retirement. You don't tell me he can't fucking beat Roman Reigns. Because he's like the only guy that's pop that's better than all these fuck fuckers. And he will always be better. Stone Cold. The Rock. If you're going to do that match at WrestleMania. Which you should probably. Not Cody Rhodes. Fucking A. The Reigns will go even more down for fuck's sakes. Edge. I know you already did Edge. Which you kind of fucked that up. But even Edge would even be better. And I guess, like, those only three, you know, really. Three, three. You have three, you have six options I can give you. Do them right. Or else don't do it at all. You might as well have to, unfortunately, keep this guy, the tire on him. Because there's nobody good and interesting anymore. Fucking A. I mean... Oh, you don't like, you don't like you guys. You only like the whole, cause maybe cause they're actually fucking good entertainment. All these guys even fucking nowadays are fucking boring as fuck. He's not even just fucking creative. And even this new regime, they're all boring as fuck. So it's not just creative, but fuck it. I, 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 like, I'm trying here. I gave, I gave Carrie Cross a chance, but that's not enough. Okay. 
Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. I don't give a fuck if people like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not fucking blindly liking, or I'm not fucking, you know, lying to y'all. I need to expose the truth. You motherfuckers are fucking, you, oh, you're too negative. Motherfuckers, you shut the fuck up. And you guys fucking just fucking eat or, eat or easily to please. You guys like fucking garbage, like easily. You guys like consume garbage instead of fucking shit that's actually fucking logic. You guys claim like logic. There's not real logic, okay? Come on here. Come on. I thought you guys are smarks, right? You guys know everything. Whatever, man. Whatever. Anyways. Scarlet comes out. Uh, look, fucking Scarlet is fucking hot. She's beautiful. Really. I would definitely say, again, invite um, if she wasn't in fucking with Karrion, she's invited me to be like couch anyway. But things, I respect Karrion Cross there. I respect him. He's a very good guy. I, apparently, he's very cool. So, and I, I just, I, I respect that much. Like, you know, you deserve that fine piece. I can always find another cute side piece who doesn't do OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm sorry. The OnlyFans part does really fucking kind of fuck it up. But, hey, honestly, fuck. She is a beautiful, attractive lady. Like, damn. Like, and she, apparently, she's a great person also, too. Like, fuck. That's great. That's wifey material. Good on you, Carrie Cross. Well, yeah. Before that, apparently, yeah, fucking Roma says, Oh, you know, Roma's not yellow and I fella. Yeah. Great. So that means the show's just plain boring. But the man, he's he's facing whatever. He's walking. Okay, yeah, whatever. He says. Tells Roman that it, uh, it took him his family, weapons, and sacrificing the wise man to get the job done against Lesnar. But he's. The man he is facing, Drew McIntyre, walked into WrestleMania in the main event and beat Brock Lesnar with his own two hands. He says the island of relevancy is not a real place. And then Karen Cross comes out. Well, not Karen. Well, Karen Cross music hits. Scarlet comes out. That's how you kind of like. I'm, it's great. Like the way they presented Scarlet. God forbid a woman that looks like a woman. And then even fucking Michael Cole said like seductive, freaking you know conniving whatever. That's whatever happened to women like Scarlet. Can we have women like Scarlet who could not just do... And apparently, again, Scarlet apparently is a good wrestler too. Can we fucking have women like Scarlet in fucking wrestling? Not only look attractive, but actually fucking fist up. What she's doing is what a woman should be doing. As a valet, as a manager. It's like, we lack that so much nowadays. It's a throwback to old school shit. It's fucking awesome. And God forbid if you have a woman that looks like her, you know, even fucking... Trish Stratus, you know, when she was a wrestler or whatever, was conniving, fucking seductive and whatever. Can we have shit like that lead up to? Why aren't we getting that with the women, with the wrestlers? I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like, yeah, I said, women's revolution, guys. Feminism bullshit. Oh, great. Like that, well, that's like draws in the season. You're no different than the WNBA fuckers. Scarlet is standing in the ring apron and whatever, and then fucking, you know, and then the Usos comes out, they, you know, hit the 1D or whatever, it's just a 3D. And then Scarlet's standing in the apron, Jay tells her to tell Cross that he stands up, to, he stands on the travel street, they'll pull him down. She tells him, that is funny, because Cross has the same message for them. I, I, I love it, I love it. She's, and guess what? Here's the thing, here's the thing! You know what's the best part of them all? You know what the best part? Here's the thing. They're presenting her as smart. And if anything, that goes along with, with how women, you know, how you could portray women as good. You know, it's not like they're fucking being track, like, slack sex or whatever, right? She's smart. So if you guys think, like, you know what, should I, oh, women should just talk, be hot first. No, she's smart. That's good. She's smart. She's being smart, but it works because she actually did the character works, and not just that. Beautiful. So if you think that I should think just women be a woman, strip, broad penny, nah. No, it's not just that. Come on. So whatever they're doing with Karen Cross and Scarlet, I love it. It's like the chef kiss. Mm. Love it. It's like BAM! Little gal, little wine. I love it. I love it, man. So that was like one of the only things I liked from tonight. Uh, Viking Raiders are walking down, blah, blah, blah. They were going to go to the ring and they get yeah, by Kofi with a candlestick. Like, I give a fuck. Uh, and then they, the, the ra Raiders that destroy him, basically. 
Sammy's outside Roman's locker room. He knocks the door to Usos answer. Mac and then McIntyre. Oh, you know, fella, I'm gonna. You want them fight? If you mess with them, fight. Whatever. He attacks all of them. Then, shit row or hit row. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know who they are. Again, they're these guys that were there last year, but they got released immediately. Um, so Hit Row returns without the Isaiah Swerve Scott guy, because he's in AEW, and he defeats some jobbers. After the match, he do themselves, like, in case you're forgotten, blah, blah, blah. If you don't know, now you know. Well, guess what? No one really ever cares. People don't watch wrestling anymore, besides fucking weirdos. And I'm sorry, no one fucking cares. They're, they're like you're, you're just again a typical, a typical wannabe crime time again. Like wow, great, we got another crime time. Oh, the fat guy's athletic. Like every fucking wrestler nowadays who is a fat too now. You know, I'm not denying the guy's ability, but fuck, everybody's the same shit now. You know, old town, no substance. You know, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like you, you guys should get the deal. I don't know. I mean, are they the worst thing? I mean, whatever. But since I'm sorry, but be fab. Like, be fab yourself. Be fuck yourself. How about that? Um, time for the women's contract signing. And Ronda just comes to, to the crowd. And the fans are freaking cheering. Like, you know, didn't you guys hate on her? Like, and you guys love her because she's a heel? You got, I, I, we don't, I don't get you people. Like, you guys are fucking so fucking opposite. We like the fa we fa hate the face and like the heels. Like fucking retarded people. She says she's not supposed to be there. She's a suspended. The crowd cheers for her. But then you know, I mean, I, I like how she presents herself. Like, uh, uh, that she gets the biggest fucking she is that uh, that being the baddest gets uh expensive, and she says she can't afford it. I kind of like that line. I thought it was nice, actually. I think I like how they present her. She looked fucking mighty fine tonight, uh, or last night, too. So, that was good. Then fucking, yeah, and then she left, and she flipped, like, one security guard. At least it was a chick. Not, like, a, you know, emasculating men type of deal. So, then Shayla, then the fucking sheepy Shayla Baszler comes out or whatever. Liv Morgan comes out where her arm brace looks hot. Um, Liv Morgan says she beat the bootleg Mark Ronda, and that's what it says she sh fucking Shayla Baszler is, which is she's not wrong. And then fucking she attacks her, but like, if anything makes no sense, like, wow. You fucking, and fucking not just not mess her up. Like, she messes her up, and then fucking Liv Morgan's still strong enough to fucking do a bulldog to the table. I don't know. I don't hate it. At least the hot chick stands tall. I like that. And you know what? Hey! Yeah! She stand up to fucking domestic violence. She beat the man, bro. Mm -mm. Girl power. It's feminism, right? That's that's what I'm talking about. She fucking beat up the man, you know? Because it was essentially a man hitting the woman. I like that. I support that. I don't know why people are hating on this. Come on. She fucking stand, stand up for a man, guys. Then the Usos confront Sami Zayn, and I don't know, uh, uh, Zayn says he was gonna get security or whatever. But then, yeah, the match, uh, the Usos, yo, yo, Megus, yo, you wanna fight us to, like, fucking to McIntyre or whatever, and it's like, wow, instead of, like, maybe developing this to maybe the main event, maybe it could surprise us with, like, a return or something. Maybe some, like, a return that, you know, we can actually give a fuck who's gonna fucking team with McIntyre, and no! Like, yeah, so some stupid tag match happens, and McIntyre and Madcap Moss. Really, Madcap Moss. Why Madcap Moss? No one fucking cares. Or, no, but, like, yeah, he comes out, and he teams up with fucking McIntyre. Like, what's established between them? Why are they teaming up with each other? No one fucking knows or cares. And he defeated fucking, they defeated fucking the Usos. Yeah, I mean, at least have somebody, and, like, you would think, like, this was your, maybe something like a return, something cool. No, it's just, like... Wow, this is just a bummer. Like, who fucking cares about Mad Cat Moss? <laughs> Why are you trying to establish like this guy is something? Like, this guy is literally just like, what? What a joke! What a joke! You know what I mean? There. I mean, like, who you could you who you could turn? I know that would be hard, but it would not hurt to give us a surprise, give us something interesting and fun. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, who can really return? I would have said maybe heck. Wow, imagine Brock Lesnar out of nowhere returned. Like, obviously, they're not going to have him wrestling a SmackDown. Or even Goldberg, but, like, fuck. 
Imagine if that was to happen. That would make people actually fucking wow. This is actually happened on SmackDown. I will make sure. I'll make sure not to miss this. You would establish that and people would still watch, but no, it's Mad Cat Moss. No hate, no hate on the guy, but it's just the person. It's just the truth. Like fuck. It's like it's a downer. Like what is there to say? I don't know. Like I don't know there. Post match, yeah, fucking, I don't know. Actually, there's nothing to talk about this. Uh, anyways, backstage you get the maximum male models doing the photo shoot. Los Lotarios come in and tell Max Dupree that they should hire him. Or them. Then Max tells them they're not MMM material, and then he tells them that they're not talking to him. They're talking to Maxine. And I'm like, you know, I like that. Wow, God forbid. Flirting with the women. Why can't we have that? Honestly, that Maxine chick, Maxine Dupree looks fucking mighty fine, obviously. That backstage, we say Rick, we see Ricochet, we see this fucking stupid jobber, this fucking midget that people like, Yeah, Ricochet, man! I jerked off to his fucking fingering videos! I love it, he's hot! Fucking fags. That's why you guys like him, because, you know, he fingered that ass. He fingered that ass. You want, some, you, to fin you want him to finger your ass? Corbin attacks Ricochet and tells him that if he thought they were done, they were getting started. And the main event, that, that it's like kind of predictable what's going to happen. Gunter defeats Nakamura. They were trying to establish like importance. Like they did video package like IC title, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry you ruined the IC title long enough. But like even with this match main eventing, it's not cool. Like, I would understand if this match was main eventing and maybe you would do something to develop the Clash of the Castle. Maybe like a returning wrestler. Someone who actually people give a fuck. Faces fucking Gunter, you know, I don't fucking know, nope, it's just, oh, it's just a plain old fucking cold match, you know, well, whatever, anyways, let's talk about Rampage, so the show, show is mostly boring, Karrion Cross is cool along with Scarlet, everything else is shit, McIntyre is being a cornball, like what, like, 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 really, ugh, anyways, and everything is shit, now let's talk about Rampage, which is apparently Quake of the Lake, night two, Really? Whatever. Dan Bryan comes out with a great ovation, apparently, and says that, I've been wrestling for 23 years, and I doesn't, uh, and I doesn't know I could be 100%, but I'll never stop wrestling, yeah! Then fuck, he says, my career will not end again, Daniel Garcia. And let me tell you something, Daniel Garcia. You want me to call this best technical sports entertainer or a best uh, a technical wrestler? That's again literally fucking comparing wh which is better, potatoes or sweet potatoes. You search with the same thing with their their potato. Actually, that's like no, they're just no. At least I mean potatoes are better and they taste better. But actually, how, how about this? Yams or sweet potatoes? You really want like yams or sweet potatoes? They're the same shit. So that's a better analogy. They're the same shit. Pro wrestling, sports entertainment. And then, uh, you know, I'll see you when, like, yeah, like, like, I give a fuck about this stupid bullshit. So they, they talk about, like, you know, I had problems with press day was wrestling for 60 minutes. That's as long as I fucking some porn that I watch I liked. I, I can, I can, I can see why people fucking, like, they, like, like, long matches. Because it's like fucking someone with fucking stupid porn. That's fucking weird. Again, like, yeah, let's watch a match with no story, no reason, boring bullshit. And that's long. We have no logic and reason for it. Cold matches. I'm running out of time. Fucking take Tyamelo and Sammy Guevara defeat defeated Ponte Mar and Sky Blue for some Triple H bullshit tag titles. P uh, the fucking wannabe Brock Lesnar defeat Sonny Kiss. Who fucking cares? Uh, he's not Brock Lesnar at all. Future backstage on oh, whatever some stupid fucking Andrade bullshit that is the center between their team. Gun Club defeats Bearhausen. Yeah, e Eric Rowan who's re relevant at Danhausen, and uh, I don't give a fuck. Some stupid shit about uh, fucking I don't know. Uh, the Trustbusters take out Orange Cassidy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently all you need to know is the end of the show with Sonny Kiss teaming up with the Trustbusters, which is one of them is Brock, Le Brock Lesnar wannabe and some jobbers. The end of the show ends with Sonny Kiss. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this some LGBT shit? Guess what? Too fucking late. It's not Prime anymore. Now, great. He's gonna spread monkey pox to everybody. And who fucking cares about this shit? This shit's boring as fuck. Holy hell. Shit, man. It's all shit. Hook was there. Whoop-de-doo. Fucking 
swerves the glory was there and some stupid tax you and some jobber this is all jobber shit really sunny kiss end the show or is Cassie being a jobber and then like uh, uh, are you the uh, the bar yeah uh, yeah yeah ah uh, fuck this shit fuck all of it sunny kiss are you fucking kidding me I did not know that fuck oh man great this is some bullshit red page but the jobber shit oh my god it deserves to drown in the lake I tell you till next time peace yeah bye fuck everything fuck sunny kiss. Holy hell. No wonder I fell asleep. I was falling asleep with a brine shit, but fuck.